Hello everyone. Hola a todos. Soy Miss Carmen de la Biblioteca Pública de Pflugerville. I am Miss Carmen from the Pflugerville Public Library. Thank you for allowing me to come in your homes today. Muchas gracias por permitirme entrar en sus casas hoy. I am going to do a bilingual story time for you today. Hoy voy a hacer un cuentacuentos bilingüe para ustedes. It is really not a whole fully bilingual story time, but you will hear some words in Spanish. No puedo hacer la historia en los dos idiomas al mismo tiempo, pero voy a introducir algunas palabras en español. Uh, to begin, I like us to sing a song together. Para comenzar, quisiera que cantáramos una canción. This is a song by Rafi. It is una canción por Rafi. Rafi is a, an awesome kids musician. Rafi es un excelente músico para niños. We have some of his music available through either CDs or downloads from our electronic resources. Rafi is, es un excelente músico para niños y tenemos su música disponible en CDs y uh, también la pueden bajar del internet por medio de nuestros recursos electrónicos. Espero que la disfruten. Las señales que vamos a usar, I'm hoping that you guys enjoy it and the, the signs that we're going to use are more, más, together, juntos, happy, contentos, tus amigos, mis amigos, your friends, my friends. Very well. So you probably have heard it before and we usually sing it a lot at the library. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Very good. It's very easy text, very easy lyrics, and kids have a lot of fun with it. So parents, if you learn it and sing it with your kids, you'll have a lot of fun. With that, um, uh, today I'm going to tell you the story of the little red hen. Hoy les voy a contar la historia de la pequeña gallinita roja. ¿Están listos? Are you ready? Very well. First, I like us to think of animals that live in farms. Okay? I'm sure you know a lot of them. Today, we're going to learn four names in Spanish. Hoy vamos a aprender cuatro nombres en español. Gallina. That's a hen. The red hen. La gallina roja. That's her color. And then we have perro. Dog, right. Ganso, goose. Cat, gato. Very well. Perro, ganso, gato. And of course, uh, Regina. Here we go. This is la gallinita roja, the little red hen. And she lives in a small cottage in the farm with her friends, con sus amigos. El gato, el ganso, oh, el perro, I'm sorry, el perro, el ganso y el gato. Those are her three friends. Do you guys know the noises that they make? What sound does the dog make? ¿Qué sonido hace el perro? Did you guys say wow? Wow, wow, wow? That's right. ¿Qué sonido hace el ganso? Honk, honk, honk. ¿Y el gato? Did you say meow? Yes, you're correct. Very good. So, la gallinita roja lives 
with her friends. El perro, el ganso y el gato. La gallinita roja is a very hard worker. She goes out to the fields every day. And every time she takes off, she asks her friends, Who wants to come and work in the fields with me? El perro answers, Not I. El ganso answers, Not I. El gato answers, Not I. So the little red hen, la pequeña gallinita, goes to work. And one day, she found some grains of wheat. And she decided to plant them. So she went back and she asked her friends again, who will come and help me plant some wheat? El perro contestó. The dog answered, not I. El ganso answered, not I. Y el gato answered, not I. So, she went ahead and she planted the wheat. But she had to take care of it too. So, she asked her friends. And again, el perro answered, not I. El gato answered, not I. Y el ganso answered, not I. So all summer long, she took care of her wheat until it was ready. That's right. And then it was ready to be taken to the meal. So she asked again, who will help me take this wheat to the meal? El perro answered, not I. El ganso answered, not I. Y el gato answered, not I. So the little red hen took off and she went to the mill and she got some flour. And one day she decided to make some bread. And she asked her friends. Who will help me make some bread? El perro answered, Not I. El gato answered, Not I. Y el ganso answered, Not I. The little red hen made the, the bread. And when it was ready, all three animals came running and they wanted to have some. But the little red hen reminded them, you know, who worked hard in the fields? I did. Who found the wheat, the grains of wheat? I did. Who planted the wheat? I did. Who took care of it? I did. Who took it to the mill? I did. Who made the bread? I did. So guess what? I am going to eat it all by myself, she said. And that is what she did. And that's the end of the story. I hope you really like it. And do you remember the names of the animals we just learned? Gajina. Ganso, gato, perro. Very good. Very well. Now, I'd like us to use the names of the animals that we just learned and use them to sing Old MacDonald. We all know that song. It's very popular. So, everyone, please join me as we sing it. You guys are ready? Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. -E 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 and on his farm, he had a gajina, ia, ia, yo, with a cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck there, here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck, cluck, old MacDonald had a farm, ia, ia, yo, and on the farm, he had a perro, 
E-I-E-I-O with a wow wow here and a wow wow there. Here a wow, there a wow, everywhere a wow wow. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O and on the farm he had un ganso. E-I-E-I-O with a honk honk here and a honk honk there. Here a honk, there a honk, everywhere a honk honk. Old MacDonald had a farm. Ia ia yo, and on the farm he had un gato. Ia ia yo, with a meow meow here and a meow meow there. Here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm. Ia ia yo. At the library, we usually have a craft for kids to put together after they listen to us tell them stories. We can't do that right now, but here's an idea. I hope you guys have the materials at home and you can do it. So I used a paper plate and construction paper, but you guys can use wrapping paper. You can use, be creative, whatever you have at home. So I use red paper to create the body of the little red hen. These are my hands that are used for the wings. And I did have some googly eyes, but if you don't have any googly eyes, you guys can just make your own and have the kids tear paper to make the body. Tearing paper is a very important skill that your kids need to practice. And I say that because it makes their hand muscles get really strong and they need that. They will need that eventually to write, to color, to tie their shoes. So yes, let them tear paper and enjoy the craft. I hope you guys had some fun today. Before we sing our goodbye song, I would like to talk to you about two different books. Du Cao's Meow is a book written by Salina Yoon. Please remember that author's name. She writes a lot of books for little kids, and I am pretty positive that you would love to read those with your little ones. This is a flip the flap book, and it's a lot of fun, but she writes penguin books and other animals, animal books too, that you will enjoy. And also, I would like to mention, I went walking. I love Sue Williams, I went walking. It provides opportunities for the kids to guess uh, the names of the, I mean, the animals that they're gonna see. It talks about, you can talk about colors, actions, provides a lot of opportunities for you to talk with your little one. This used to be one of my baby's favorite book. My baby is now 19. But um, please check it out and read it with your kids. With that, Let's sing our goodbye song, and I hope you join me next time. Here we go. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another day. Happy summer, everyone. <laughs>